Having seen two types of equilibria in differential equations, stable and unstable, the question remains, how do we classify them? Well, there is a tool, a magical tool, that's going to help us with this. I want you to think back, way back to Taylor expansion. That is what we're going to use. But what are we going to expand? Is there some function that we're expanding? Hmm. We're going to expand the differential equation itself. What do I mean by that? Let's go back and consider the example we did earlier. dx dt equals minus sine of x. You know, I know that there's an equilibrium at x equals zero. And you know, and I know that it is a stable equilibrium. Solutions converge to it. How can we prove this? Let's think in terms of what we know about Taylor series. Consider dx dt is minus sine of x. What is that? Oh, that's really minus sine of x. And sine of x is x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial. Keep going, keep going. What do we know? We know that this is really the same thing as minus x plus big O of x cubed if I wanted to package up all of those small terms. And because we're looking near the equilibrium where x equals zero, these are small terms. And for such small values, let's approximate this ODE with a linear equation. dx dt is approximately negative x. All the higher order terms are really, really small. Aha, this is really interesting because now if I think of the linear ODE, dx dt equals lambda times x, what's the solution? We know that. That's the initial condition times e to the lambda t. Going back to what we've done, that lambda, that coefficient in front of the first order term is negative one. That means it's stable. And that means that we have linearized the differential equation. We have Taylor expanded the differential equation itself about the equilibrium at x equals zero. That's a very interesting perspective, but that's just one example. Let's do the general case. Consider the differential equation given by dx dt equals f of x, where f is some arbitrary differentiable function. Let's say that we've got an equilibrium at x equals a. What does that mean? That means that f of a must be equal to zero. Let's expand about that equilibrium. Let's expand the differential equation about that equilibrium. Consider a new variable that represents how far away you are from equilibrium. Let's call it h. And let's declare h to be x minus a, the distance to the equilibrium. h is going to be a function of t. It's going to evolve over time. How does that perturbation evolve? What is dh dt? Differentiation is a linear operator. And h equals x minus a. So dh dt equals dx dt minus da dt. But by definition, a, the equilibrium, it's constant. So dA dt is zero. That vanishes, and we are left with dx dt. We know from the ODE that dx dt is f of x. So what do we have? We have dH dt, the change in the perturbation, equals f of x. But wait, what's f of x? Let's Taylor expand about x equals a f of x equals f of a plus the derivative of f with respect to x evaluated at a times h plus, for small values of h, everything else is in big O of h squared. Now, take a look at this. The zeroth order term, f of a, what is that? Aha, that vanishes because a is an equilibrium. So the leading order term in the differential equation, the equation dh dt that tells how h changes is some constant df dx at a times h. If we linearize that differential equation about x equals a, about the equilibrium, we get dh dt equals this derivative, this constant evaluated at a times h. 
Now that's a linear equation. It's of the form dh dt equals some constant lambda times h. That constant, that coefficient of first order variation, that's the thing that really matters because that gives you the solution nearby. H is evolving like e to the lambda t. So this lambda, this constant, the derivative of the right-hand side of the ODE with respect to x evaluated at a is what? Well, if it's negative, then that means h evolves like e to the negative something t. That's a stable equilibrium. On the other hand, if this derivative evaluated at the equilibrium is positive, that means we are evolving according to an exponential with a positive coefficient. That's an unstable equilibrium. You're moving away. The distance is increasing. And hopefully it's not zero because we really don't want linearization to fail, you know? That's it. That's our stability criterion for equilibria in nonlinear first order ODEs. And you could see this. You could really see this. If we draw some pictures plotting x horizontally and dx dt vertically, we can draw the graph of f of x. We can see exactly where the equilibria are, and then we can see the stability by means of the derivative, by means of the slope of the tangent line of f at the equilibrium. And this perfectly meshes with our qualitative intuition from the beginning of this chapter. Everything makes sense. We have now learned how to tailor expand a differential equation.